What's up y'all sitting in the garage this evening and I am on my boat. I've been tinkering around back here, messing on my power poles, uh, rearranging some pumps and stuff. Um, I've had a, a pump down and you know, for me, it, it really sucks and it's a big deal and I gotta get fixed right away because my garage <clears throat> is like seven foot three, the clearance from the ground to the top of the garage and the poles from the ground to the top of the poles, like seven foot six. So I need to retract those poles each and every time to go in and out of my garage. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm used to it now and it is what it is. But um, when you have an issue and those poles don't go down, uh, <laughs> the first time I didn't know what to do. Needless to say, I narrowed it down. I have a circuit board issue, okay? Um, one of the circuit boards went out uh, in, the, in the power pole pump and uh, basically the way it was explained to me is it's electronics, okay? There's no particular reason why one goes out. One could go five years without issue, and then you could have one that, you know, goes out maybe two or three times within five years. But uh, needless to say, uh, talking with PowerPole, those guys were phenomenal, man. Uh, I've always heard about great uh, customer service and warranty department through PowerPole, and uh, my gosh, they... They took care of me immediately, man. And I had my motherboard right here. I got it next day, literally next day. Um, so uh, kudos to them, man. Uh, I love that uh, with a company that, that really, you know, takes care of their customers. So I'm going to swap that thing out and I, I believe I'm not going to have any issues. So, um, but I'm going to show you real quick, you know, basically what, what happened. So here are my two pumps. You see them both flashing here. Uh, the one at the top of the screen is the one that actually works, okay? Um, and it looks no different than this one. I got the cover off. Um, there's the silicone gasket and the cover there. Those come off easily. But um, the the real uh, indicator here if you, when you have an issue is this one doesn't chime. When you turn your power, your perco switch on, um, they both should make a sign. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, they make that sound, but this one does not do it. Okay, so that was kind of the first indicator that something was wrong with this one. Then when you hit up and down, nothing happens. It's unresponsive, and it's the same with the switch on the on the dash, um, the, the key fob, and the foot controls. So this is the part I need to swap out, guys. It just pops out there real nice and easy. Um, I got my replacement one in here. Um, I'm going to send this one back to PowerPole, and they're going to figure out what happened with it just for their their knowledge. And then uh, I should be good to go back on the water. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of touch base on, you know, how PowerPole took care of me and their warranty service and how that, you know, was a phenomenal experience. And then, um, you know, if you may run into this same issue too and not know what to do, and then, you know, just know, rest assured that you call up PowerPole and explain them what's going on. They'll walk you through it um, and they'll find a solution for you. But if it's an issue like I had with a bad motherboard, um, some of the indicators that I explained, nine times out of 10, that's going to be your issue while your pump uh, pole doesn't go up or down is unresponsive. So, um, yeah, easy swap, easy fix. Um, you'll be back on the water in no time. So um, I'm signing out, man. I'm going to bed. I appreciate you watching. Tight lines, fill the limit. Catch y'all on the water next time. Peace.